Yes, I'm still alive. I'm so sorry that I've not been, you know, uploading videos lately, but ever since late May, after I saw Godzilla King of the Monsters in theaters, I've been non-stop. I also bought a new computer, the Microsoft Surface Studio 2. I also have Adobe Premiere Pro on it, and I'm actually editing some of my trip on there. To finish it off, one awesome wallpaper. I've been to Washington, D.C., I've been to Virginia Beach, I've been to New Jersey, I almost went to New York, and it's just been a very busy couple of months, and so I'm sorry that I haven't really been uploading that much, but finally here's a new video, so yeah. Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Today we are reviewing the Jack Specific Godzilla King of the Monsters 20 inch figure. The packaging is pretty nice. It says Godzilla King of the Monsters on the bottom right with a nice glimmer on the top of the eye of King and a very strange image of Godzilla. I wonder why he's so blue there. There's a sticker on the top right that says 20 inches long and then turning to the back, there is all the logos on the bottom right. There's another sticker that reads over 20 inches long yet again and articulating arms and legs. There's a sticker on the top that says Godzilla King of the Monsters and an image of the three inch figure for some reason. Okay, so anyways, that's it for the packaging. Now let's take the figure out. There's some minor assembly required as you can see. So here he is, mint and fresh out of the box, ready for review, and he has his tail on. So he stands at around 11 and a half inches tall, which is just below what the packaging claims him to be. From head to tail, he does indeed reach 20 inches. Actually, I think he might be a little longer. He's at about 22 inches. For sculpts and paint apps, I would say it's acceptable. It's good, but the teeth are way too globby. But I can understand it's for safety reasons. This is made for younger children anyways. Now the face kind of looks derpy from the front. You kind of have to look at it from above in order for it to look intimidating at all. But yeah. There is a nice light gray dry brushing that goes all the way from the top of his neck to... Uh... The legs and thighs are sculpted very nicely. I like how they fixed the feet in this new movie. They made, they didn't make it look like an elephant foot anymore. It looks kind of goofy like that. I really like how it looks a lot more weaponized now and it could do more damage. The paint job is about the same around the whole figure. Now turning it to the side, whoa! Screw holes. Are you kidding me? Jack Pacific, come on, that is awful. That's giving me Hasbro flashbacks, just, just why? Ugh, well, anyways, so here's Godzilla compared to the six inch scale King Ghidorah, or it might be seven, excuse me. Then here he is next to the action attack Carnotaurus. Now here he is next to the 1954 Godzilla, which is going through the process of a repaint, which actually I'm pretty sure this is an accurate scale. Finally, here he is scaled up next to Fresco, my bearded dragon. You guys haven't seen him on my channel in years, so I think it's about time he gets a cameo. Well, that's pretty much all there is to say about the 12 inch Jack Pacific Godzilla 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you later.